Good morning. All right. So, <clears throat> this week is section 49 and 50, and today is section 49, verses 1 through 9. Um, and our wheel here says that it's May 1831 in Kirtland, Ohio, for Sidney Rigdon, Parley Pratt, and Lehman Copley. And the prominent doctrine or theme is shaking Quakers and the sanctity of marriage. Um, so in the podcast, they give a really great historical background for this revelation. Um, Lehman Copley, he was a shaker, but he was married, and the shakers didn't believe in marriage. They thought that the sin in, in the Garden of Eden was a carnal sin. And so they believed in a complete and utter celibate life. Um, but he didn't want to give up his marriage for obvious reasons. And so he wanted to find somebody who could um, tell the, the, the Shakers that they were wrong. He still kind of wanted to be a part of their community, but just be married. So he just wanted to find somebody who who could tell them they were wrong. Anyways, in consequence, uh, Joseph Smith asked the Lord, and this was the revelation given. Um, it didn't turn out so well. Um, the, the Shakers dismissed it, and uh, Layman Copley, I believe, he didn't stay a member of our church. Um, so anyways, uh, was there anything in there that I wanted to share? I don't think so. Um, also the Shakers believed, uh, the podcast goes into depth as to what they believed. They believed that the Savior already came, but this time in the form of a woman. Um, just a plain human woman like he did the first time, but, and, um, And they didn't believe in baptism, and they thought because they were celibate, they were living a near perfect life. Um, so, some of the things that are in the Ludlow for the first nine verses, very short, but there's just one that I want to share. Um, in verse 8, it says, I have reserved unto myself holy men that ye know not of. Um, now, this revelation was taken to the Shakers and read in its entirety. So, um, the, it starts out saying that Sidney and Parley and Lehman, they have to go and they have to preach this to the Shakers. Um, so they read the whole, the whole revelation to the Shakers, and of course it's rejected. But anyways, uh, the reference to the need of repentance by all men, except those which I have reserved unto myself, holy men, that ye know not of, may require some explanation. The Shakers felt that they were living lives approaching perfection, or at least free from sin in their celibacy, etc. The Lord informs us that all men in their mortal state are subject to sin, and all who have not repented and received the remission of their sins in baptism, baptism are subject to repentance and baptism for the remission of sin. The Shakers did not believe in baptism. Holy men that ye know not of who were without sin and reserved unto the Lord are translated persons such as John the Revelator and the three Nephites, who do not belong to this generation and yet are in the flesh, in the earth, performing a special ministry until the coming of Jesus Christ. And that's Joseph Fielding Smith. Um, so, it's just, this section is just, you know, being like, okay, Shakers, here's what you believe, here's the truth. And in the podcast, they talk a lot about the truth, which I really liked. And um, one thing, well, I don't know if it's concerning section 50. Because section 50 talks about how you may know the Spirit, because... Um, they were all kind of getting up in this kind of hallelujah state, thinking they were feeling the spirit, you know, and they repeated over and over again that 
emotion, <clears throat> extreme emotion is not the Holy Spirit. Um, so the Lord has to explain to them how you feel the Spirit. Uh, but one thing I thought was interesting, since we just studied the Book of Mormon, was that Laman and Lemuel constantly went off of their emotions. They always had an emotional reaction to something. They never, ever went to reason. Nothing was ever reason with them. It was always an emotional reaction. And um, we, upon hearing that, it was, I was like, that's so freaking true. You know, how many times do I go off of my emotion? When, when I get upset by something or annoyed by something, that is me going from my emotions. And it's not a logical reaction to the situation. It's just an emotional one. And I think that's something that we need to kind of overcome is this constant emotional reaction to everything. I think we can see that in the world today that everybody just goes off their emotions. You know, it's like Ben Shapiro says, facts don't care about your feelings. That's kind of the same same situation here. Here are the facts. Look at it through reason, not emotion. You know, and I think our day-to-day -day lives would be less stressful if we went off of reason instead of emotion. Oh, and one more thing. It's going to get into it later on in the section, but right here, the shakers didn't eat meat. Anyone who forbids the use of meat is not of God. There you go. I just thought that was hilarious. I'm like, vegans, nah. Vegetarians, nah. Not of God. Uh, anyways, we'll get more into that later. So that was section 49, verses 1 through 9, and tomorrow is 10 through 18. We will see you then.